Bom dia, Shiham Rankumar. Welcome to NASPRID, um, facing and fighting climate change. Finding new um, eco-innovative strategies is not enough. You have to convince people and companies to adopt them. Recently, you and your colleagues have um, tested the um, best strategy to reach such goal. How? Thanks, Julia. Yeah, so we looked at the sort of sociological approach to the diffusion of innovations, specifically amongst business networks. And we did that by developing a theoretical agent based model. And it's sort of like a, a role playing game. The model takes inputs about how companies behave individually. And then you throw a lot of companies um, into this model. And then you see how they interact with each other to understand uh, how they behave and react, etc. Um, and we use this model to understand, for example, how do we target the right kinds of companies that are most effective influencers in their network to spread these new innovations faster um, and make sure that more and more companies adopt them. And it's sort of similar to, for example, in social media where you have influencers. So how do you identify the kind of influencer companies in order to spread these ideas and increase the adoption of new eco innovations. And uh, what results did you get? So we found that, um, you know, for innovations that are more incremental, they're just minor adjustments to existing products and services, etc. Um, the kinds of companies that are ideal to, to focus on to spread um, these innovations faster are ones with a lot of connections. So companies that are connected to a lot of um, other companies in, in their networks. Um, but when it comes to really disruptive innovations, innovations that are more difficult to convince companies to adopt because they require more investments in time, effort, et cetera, um, it's really important to focus on sort of neighbors of companies that have already adopted. So really close, um, connected, companies to ones who are already on board with the uh, with the innovation. And that's the best way to sort of spread that innovation through the network as quickly as possible. And uh, which kind of uh, policy implications can we drive from your uh, findings? Yeah, so this is uh, the kind of results from our, our research is really important for um, policymakers, companies, startups, etc who are really trying to um, grow and scale specific initiatives, um, specific uh, technologies or processes that can really mitigate, as you said, climate change, environmental impacts, et cetera. Um, so the outcomes of our research will hopefully aid um, some of these decision makers to identify the right partners, the right companies to focus on and prioritize in order to more quickly spread these innovations and accelerate the way we're able to reduce some of the environmental impacts um, that we're facing.